Good morning traders and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So starting off with Euro USD. So um, this consolidation is still underway and we've been at it since uh, sort of late July at the moment. We're going sideways. Uh, key thing to, to understand here is that we do have a pretty big inverse head and shoulders bring. This line in the sand which is our neckline um, and also um, the area of resistance which is 118.880 and that is a pretty big area at the moment. So uh, we've had yet another attempt at it, we've bounced off it and now we're moving back towards it. So you can see shoulder, head, shoulder or you could say shoulder, head, shoulder or you could say cup and handle. Doesn't really matter which way you look at it, um, the other way that you could look at this is range. Okay, uh, so what you'd be looking for is a break and a retest of this to get long for the heights of the range or the head and shoulders. Okay, so break and retest of 118.880 is still what we're after. Um, in the meantime, looking at the one hour, you can see we've had some fairly strong pullbacks. I just want to readjust this level to pick up this area of support. You can see there all my tails. There's my swing low, there's my double bottom tests, pin bar, pin bar, bounced off it. I suspect we're aiming for uh, 118.880, so I'd be reluctant to jump in long on this. This was an area for long down here. Pri beautiful price action, pin bar, pin bar, um, off a level. And that was an area for a long. Um, at the moment, we are going sideways, but uh, I would suspect a some kind of a pullback. And uh, what I would suggest you do is just put your levels in. So I'm using a few levels deeper down, so it's this one and that one there. I think this level here is probably the stronger one, which is 118.513. So I see a pullback onto this, see if it holds, and then there should be a long back up to 118.880. Okay, and that will more than likely give you a smaller head and shoulders on the one hour. There's a shoulder, there's a head, and there will be the shoulder. Okay, ultimately we're looking for the break of 118.880 and I do believe it's coming. Okay, maybe not this week, but definitely, definitely on its way. Okay, uh, we have a bit of uh, confusion here on the uh, US dollar Japanese yen. So we had a bit of an inside bar on the 8th hour um, sideways, then we bounced up uh, pretty much into no man's land. Uh, I think the level is off the, the 1 hour. So let's just get there. Okay, so you can see there was the area that it was looking for, but if we sort of go to the left, you'll see a lot of interaction with this level here of 104.181. Okay, so always a good idea, draw your levels at the 8th hour, then just fine tune them on the 1 hour and put in 2 or 3 so you can see everything that's in that area. Okay, for the moment we are sideways, uh, did project off here. And it's happened, it happens relatively often. You can see squirts above the moving average and down. So I never use a moving average as gospel. Uh, you need to look for levels as well. Because um, until it comes back to the moving average and tests and bounces off it and then moves back up, that's when you know the trend has changed. At the moment, the trend is still down. Okay, we are sideways, we are flat. I think uh, for me, watching this very carefully. Bear in mind, we've got some big weekly levels here, okay? So we've got this 103.617 and then a massive one down here at 103.358 uh, and this one goes back many, many years. So that would be an area where I would be looking to take profit, 103.358. Okay, um, next pair is Euro Aussie Dollar. Euro Aussie Dollar has moved up to the trend line and bounced off it. So for me, we are sort of range bound, uh, do that. But we do have a rounding bottom here okay so rounding bottom double bottom doesn't matter which way you want to look at it it's definitely brewing if I come to the one hour you'll see um, we are following this trend at the moment so we're following this trend line at the moment it's pretty much a, a channel that we're in okay I'm not gonna Split hairs over how beautiful the channel must be. It isn't a channel, you can see it moving up in a structured form. And uh, I would assume that we find some support somewhere. Uh, more than likely, 
where we are right now or a little bit further down at 162818 and another attempt at this area here of 163293. Pretty big one, we'll need to clear this previous high and you can see there is a bit of a gap up here as well which would offer some targets. Okay, that'll be some profit taking right up there. 163585. Once we're up there, I would expect to move back down onto the trend line and that would give me the opportunity for a much bigger swing high. Okay, so that's another one worth watching. Um, Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. So we are moving up on the eight hour. We have tested the moving average here. We tried to test there, it didn't quite happen. And then we are testing. So this is really poising at the moment for a breakout as well. And you can see nice big rounding bottom here. Um, I suppose not really rounding bottom, it's uh, more of the inverse head and shoulders that uh, is brewing. So I'm looking for areas of structure. We are finding some support on the moving average here. I'll go over there, you can see that's my level. Broken through, come back and it looks like we're testing it now. So that level is 095043. Okay, uh, just move down to the hour and you'll see a double bottom brewing. Okay, we are still below the moving average on the hour. So obviously, looking at the hour, what we're looking for is, let me just move a little bit up. You can see I've got some structure here. I'm looking for a break above 095338 and a retest of that uh, for moves to the upside. Okay, which will also uh, confirm this trend line break, which has just happened now and underway. Okay, so that's, uh, I think this is probably one that you need to watch today. You probably find you'll at least get the height of this double bottom. And just make sure that you, we're all on the same page. So we're looking for a target zone. Slap bang in the middle of all this chaos. And you can see there was an area of resistance up there. So you'd be looking for 095644. Okay, uh, next pair, British pound, Japanese yen. So we had this consolidation, we squirted down onto a trend line and we are now sort of flirting with this previous swing high here. So we're gonna to have to get above this level for me to look at longs at the moment. So that's 137682. I need to get above it, come back and test it and then start moving to the upside. It does look like it's a bit of a, a, a flag. You can see there and there. So strong move up, consolidation flag. We're expecting a breakout, but we need to clear this area, okay? So that's kind of the structure that I'm looking at at the moment. Um, and be wary of this zone here. Uh, let me just make the chart a little bit more messy for you. So be wary of that zone, here, because what's going to happen is you're going to come up to this trend line, you're going to bounce around, you're going to bounce around, and you're going to bounce around, and then hopefully get through. Otherwise, it's just going to come back down to the bottom. So that's the other scenario that may play out. Okay, so just put that in, delete the noise. Uh, that didn't help us, did it? Let's just put that level in again. And you can see I'm taking the swing high basically. And I think what we should do is probably put that, these swing highs in as well. Okay, so that's the zone we need to clear. We clear through that zone, come back, find support in there, then definitely looking for longs on this pair. At the moment it is sideways, so you need to rather watch than get in on it. Aussie dollar, US dollar. So we had this move up, we had the wedge, we had the break, we had a retest, and it fell even further. So my eyes, this has come back to retest the, the wedge break. And then we had, um, well, we don't have it yet, but it is a fairly bullish pattern forming. So it's red, then you have a red sort of inverse hammer, okay? And then you've got a confirmation green. And if that stays green and closes green on the ISR, that's a fairly bullish pattern. You'd expect a continuation to the upside. I am expecting a continuation to the upside. Ultimately, we need to... So ultimately, this level needs to go. Okay, um, so that's the one that I'm looking for, to be honest with you. Probably sideways until we get through this area here, 073269. Um, alternatively, we need to find support here, and we'll do that on the one hour. So you'll see break up, come back, find support here at 072874, 
then you should target that area first, 073269, and then ultimately a breakout to the upside to get our measured move for the flag. Okay, uh, last pair is British Pound Aussie Dollar. Uh, this is still going sideways. Uh, it is sideways to up at the moment, so it does look like we have a rounded bottom here. We're going to need to clear quite a few tails here before we actually get moving. Uh, I'm just going to go straight to the one hour here because this is still something that I'm probably going to just sit and watch at the moment. So you can see we go sideways, squirt up sideways, and it's kind of been the pattern. Squirt up sideways, sideways, squirt down and down, sideways, sideways. So this is sideways for me at the moment, so I think i um, really just going to sit and watch this at the moment. Uh, probably something next week brewing, you know, the if I look at the structure, we've been going sideways for a pretty long time, we've got a week here, uh, you look at this chaos here, okay, so yeah, it, it's kind of kind of difficult at the moment to to pick a direction on this pair, but I just, I'm, I feel something is happening here, you know, we've got buyers coming in off the bottom and there must be a reason for it. So, anyway, it's uh, sideways at the moment, two weeks range bar, and now we've got, looks like another range bar forming on the weekly. But I'm going to give it another, uh, I'll give it another week or so of watching to see if there's something that's going to transpire here. Uh, I do want to, if it does break the upside violently, I do want to try and catch that. Okay, anyway guys, uh, that's it for me today. I hope it helps you somewhat, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.